Hey guys, this problem is asking a couple different things, but the first thing it's asking is to calculate the force on a 65 kilogram person accelerating at a rate of 30 g's. Now, oops, uh oh, now 30 g's just means that the acceleration is equal to 30 multiplied by g, the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81, or I guess just 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's, that's the equivalent of 1g. So if we put that into our calculator, we find that this is an acceleration of 294 meters per second squared. Now to calculate the amount of force on a person experiencing this, we just have to use Newton's second law, which states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So the mass is 65 kilograms, and we just found the acceleration. 294 meters per second squared, put that into a calculator, and this is a force of 1.9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 newtons. So that answers the first part of the problem, asking about the force they experience. The next part of the problem asks about the distance they travel if they're brought to rest from an initial speed of 95 kilometers per hour. And the first thing I'm going to do is convert this into meters per second, because we don't want to work with speeds in kilometers per hour. So one meter per second is equal to 3.6 kilometers per hour. So divide 95 by 3.6, and we find an initial speed of 26.39 meters per second. So that's the initial speed we actually want to be using. So let's think about this. We have the initial speed that's given to us, we have the final speed, we're told we're being brought to rest, and we're looking for the distance traveled. And we also have the acceleration. So this means all we gotta do is use our kinematics equation, and specifically the one comparing uh, the square of the final speed to the initial speed squared plus two times acceleration times the distance traveled, which is what we want to find. So let's solve this equation for delta x by subtracting from both sides of the equation v naught squared, and then divide both sides of the equation by 2 times the acceleration. And all we got to do is just plug in our values. So 0 is the final speed, minus the square of the initial speed, so that's 26.39 meters per second, all divided by 2 times the acceleration. And it's a negative acceleration because we're slowing it down. 94, because it's a deceleration, meters per second squared. And if we put that into a calculator, then we find a distance of about 1.2 meters. And that is the distance that the car travels as it decelerates. And that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with your friends, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. That is all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.